Hello, good morning. My name is Christian Navarro. Um, I studied my master in computer science in Mexico. Um, I'm going to start my PhD in Universidad Castilla-La Mancha. I will, uh, I'm going to present uh, uh, my work developing a framework to e evaluate usability in M-learning system, mapping study and proposal. The contents of this presentation is the introduction, motivation, and general objectives, uh, the results of a systematic mapping study, the framework proposal for evaluation of M-learning system, and finally, conclusions and future work. And nowadays, the cell phones are part of our daily lives. In this graphic, uh, we can see that the smartphone subscriptions has been growing in the last years. Uh, and one prediction is that in the year uh, 2019, uh, we'll be uh, reaching the 5.6 billion and 800 million for mobile PCs, tablets, and mobile routers. UNESCO considers that the mobile device devices are a plat platform to facilitate educational e equity throughout the different countries. Uh, this idea is what uh, now we know as MLR. The M-learning definition has been changed in the last years. In 2000, we defined it as e-learning that takes place with help of mobile devices. In 2005, O'Malley defined it uh, as learning that takes place when the learner takes advantage of learning opportunities offered by mobile technologies. And recently, in 2013, Chromosome defined it as learning across multiple contexts uh, through social and content interactions using personal electronic devices. Uh, the last definition is more focused in the students and their learning process. Uh, motivation. The technologies with larger potential in the education area according to NMC Horizon Report are the de uh, mobile devices, specific, specifically the tablets, the MOOCs, and game-based learning. Uh, this scenario predict uh, an increase of 15.6% in the period of 2012 to 2016. Uh, one of the factors uh, to this growth is the, are the, the mobile learning games. And mobile usability is a, speci a specialty in the usability pipe that is currently emerging uh, because Mobile devices face big challenges, mostly in the educational areas. For instance, screen size, interaction styles, capaci capacity, sensorization, connectivity, and portability. Uh, general objectives, uh, study the current state of M-learning and mobile usability research. Understand the current needs of in M-learning and propose a model or framework to evaluate the usability and M-learning system. Uh, the results of a systematic mapping study, uh, the total of papers found in the initial search were 1,085. Uh, we, the, the database used in the investigation were Scopus, Science Direct, ACM, and eXplore. And the keywords used in the investigation were M-learning, mobile learning, and usability. The number of relevant papers extracted from this database were only 68. And the first research question is, what is the current state of M-learning and mobile usability research, considering only paper using mobile devices like smartphones and tablets? In this picture, we can see uh, that there is an increase in the number of publications in the last years. This search was in March of 2013, but I'm sure that the total of the papers in this year, 2000, uh, 2013, uh, is higher than 2012. 
The second research question is what are what are the different approaches for publication in the areas of m learning usability? We classify the different approaches in four categories: uh, m learning applications, guidance and frameworks, a specific aspect of m learning, and analysis and tendencies of m learning. Uh, we wanted to know what type of mobile devices and operative system are the most common according to this paper. To respond to these questions, we analyze the 30 papers uh, related to M learning application. We found that the 40% are games based applications and only 57% include a usability test. And out of the 57%, only 35% use holistic or expert reviews. Types of mobile devices in M learning. Uh, we found that 42% uh, of the application were to Android and smartphones, 32% uh, to iPhones, 6% to iPad, 6% to Windows smart, uh, smartphones, and 3% for to Android tablets. Uh, the M learning application according to academic level. We found that 43% uh, of the application were to university students, 32 for elementary students, 3% uh, to high school, 7% to special education, and 3% to uh, master. Uh, we classified uh, the gu guidelines in frameworks in two types, uh, development, development uh, framework and evaluation framework. In the third classification, we have different areas of development and different areas of evaluation. In the fourth, fourth classification, we have the papers that consider both M-learning and usability in the same framework. And we found only one paper focus and evaluation framework, but it's not focused in user interface usability. The author gives um, recommend, a technical recommendation for uh, for application for MR. Uh, for instance, screen size, uh, hard drive or memory capacity. To and results and general conclusion, there is a lack of evaluation tools for M learning application. Our research proposal is the creation of an evaluation framework for M learning application, considering pedagogical usability and user interface usability. Uh, the evaluation fra framework is divided into factors, pedagog pedagogical usability and user interface usability. The pedagogical usability factor has five, uh, sub, five subdivisions, content, multimedia, tasks or activities, social interaction and personalization. And each of these subdivisions has its own elements to be evaluated. The user interface usability has six and subdivisions, operability, user error protection, statics, feedback, accessibility, and motivation. And each of these subdivisions has its own elements too. And conclusion, analysis, recent growth in the M-Learning research area, lack of usability evaluation framework in M-Learning. And we propose an M-Learning framework based in pedagogical aspect and user interface usability to be used for evaluation and development framework. Future work definition and validation of the evaluation framework and development, development of a software tool that will facilitate the evaluation. We want uh, to present the result of the evaluation in a radar chart. And propose, um, propose this framework to be applied along with other methodologies for development, specifically for e-learning or, or m-learning. Thank you.